What's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today I am here with the emulation PC and it's finished up. I'm just waiting on a Bluetooth adapter. It's good to go now. We're gonna be using a Xbox One S wired controller. So I did make a build video with my daughter and she helped me build this thing, but I gotta do some editing and I wanted to get this out of the way. I've been really busy this weekend. But this week, I'm gonna have tons and tons of videos on this computer here. So I gotta say, it, it's actually a really nice case. Um, decent cable management in the back there. This case was 30 bucks. I did go with the EVGA 600 watt power supply and the only reason I went so high is because it was 30 bucks. 29.99, I couldn't pass it up. We still have the i3 4170 CPU, clocked at 3.7 gigahertz. An XFX 270X video card with two gigabytes of RAM. A 500 gigabyte hard drive here. I have an SSD I'm gonna be throwing in it, but for now I wanted to get this thing out and show you guys the Wii U emulator running on this unit. The CPU is plenty powerful enough for pretty much any emulator we wanna throw at it. And this GPU does a really, really good job with everything that I've tested so far. So there are a few little things I still want to do to this, but for now it's fully functional, everything works, and it works really well. So the case I got did come with two fans. They do light up blue. I'm not a big fan of flashy cases. This is a little much for me, but it, it actually looks really good. It's a cheaper case. I'm going to demonstrate the lighting now. It's not too off-putting at all, especially with the side panel on. It looks pretty good. It might be a little brighter in this video than it you know, is in real life, but it looks good. We're going to be moving over now, and I'm going to be testing the Wii U emulator within Windows 10. All right, guys, here we are, the i3-4170 CPU at 3.7 gigahertz, 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, 500 gigabyte hard drive. I have a 120 gigabyte SSD I'm going to be putting in here, a Bluetooth dongle, and I also have a Wi-Fi dongle, but right now... I'm sitting with Ethernet. Over here under GPU-Z, you can see we have the R9 200 series. Um, two gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, right here. Two gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM. This is an older GPU, but it works very well with everything we're going to be using now. And I got to say, this GPU has served me well in the past. I was able to run GTA 5 on medium to high settings with a i7-2600, no trouble at all, 60 FPS all day long. Let's open up SimU. I don't know how you pronounce it, how you want to pronounce it, it's up to you. But this is the Wii U emulator. Now I have a Xbox One S controller connected with a USB cable to the PC right now. And I know everybody wants to see all these other emulators running. When I get time this week, I will make tons of videos. So starting tomorrow in the afternoon, I'll put out some PlayStation 2 videos, more GameCube at higher resolutions, some Wii, and tons and tons of videos are coming on this thing because this is really awesome. So I haven't set up SimU within Big Box yet, and it is possible, totally possible to do this. But for now, I've been experimenting with this emulator this is SimU 1.6.1, and it works really well. First thing I need to do is make sure my input settings are correct. I'm going to be using the wired Xbox One for Windows controller, Wii U gamepad. So I'll go ahead and load up new Super Smash Bros. U and see how this plays. So it's running really good. I mean, 60 FPS in this new Super Mario Bros. And you see every once in a while, you'll see it slow down. It doesn't really slow down. It just kind of like pauses. So I am pretty confident that we are going to be able to run any mainstream emulator at full speed on this PC build here. This is Yoshi's Woolly World and it freezes up every once in a while. You can see that his face is missing. There are some textures missing. Now I tried to make this video a lot longer but I uploaded it and automatically got flagged by Nintendo so I got to cut this short. And I just want to say thanks to everybody who donated to get this build 
finished up. Really, really appreciate it, guys. I'm going to be going through on how to set up LaunchBox. I'll do a lot of retro arch. So tomorrow, I'll actually do PlayStation 2, Dreamcast, Wii, and GameCube games at higher resolutions. I just want to show you that this does run pretty much any emulator we can throw at it. I really appreciate you watching, and I really appreciate the people who helped out donating to make this build happen. I will have tons of tutorial videos, tons of gameplay videos. If you guys have any requests, let me know in the comments below. This week, I will get to as many of them as possible. Like always, thanks for watching.